Morning, take your seats. Hello and welcome to class. Welcome to learning with laser beam. Today's lesson, kids, is all about the flat earth. Little known fact, I believe in the flat earth. Here's an example. Take a look at the board. Look, look at the board, Jonathan! Now here's a globe. If the globe was real, this is what it'd look like. Now here's Australia down here, somewhere. If I lived here, I'd just fall off into space. Wouldn't I? Now here's the beautiful, realistic, flat Earth. Now here's Australia. You see a little laser beam on it? He's not floating off into space, is he? Hashtagged confirmed. But really, I'm sure you've seen many YouTubers talk about the flat Earth. But they're all, you know what they are? They're plants from the government. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to show you, but the first video you've probably seen many times. But you guys have been begging learning with laser beam to do it, to educate you, to teach you the truth. So it's my turn. One, two, three. We're not crazy! We're not crazy! We're intellectuals! <laughs> Greetings from the Flat Earth International Conference. The world's greatest minds have all convened on one location. NBC Suites, North Carolina. Truly the mecca of intelligence. It's a real shame I could I had to miss it this year. There's a lot of people that have different ideas on what the flat earth is, but what one thing we all agree on is that we don't live on a spinning ball flying through infinite space. Do you feel yourself spinning, wobbling, gyrating? Nope. No, I do not. Toilet water's not flying out on people in Australia. Now nah, man, my toilet water is in my toilet. If it was a globe, Laser Beam's toilet would be in space. We always say, don't believe us. Do your own research. But unless you know there's a question, you're not going to do the research. Do your own research. But most importantly, ignore all the research from people with educations and the government. Now, ignore all the research that points to a globe. That's all fake news, goddammit. Now, once you've done that, ignore all the actual information. Then do your own research. The flat Earth would be a circular flat area surrounded by a field that is known as Antarctica. This white rim around the outside, a lot of people refer to it as the ice wall. And then the dome is over the top. Now, oh, the ice wall. That's what a lot of people don't get. They're like, how does the water stay in? Obviously, an ice wall. Now, what you're thinking is, why can't someone just fly to the ice wall? Penguins. <laughs> Never mind the fact that you can totally just go to Antarctica. <laughs> I believe it's a, some kind of a star field firmament about 6,000 miles above us. And it appears to be a cymatic light field electric. Yes, always trust the guy with the weird van. Electromagnetic energy, not gravity at all. Gravity is a deception. The sun and the moon are these transcendental cymatic um, luminaries. Gravity. Gravity! Government conspiracy. You know what makes me laugh about all these conspiracies? There's been hundreds of different governments since Isaac Newton's theory of gravity since we officially discovered gravity. That was like 400 years ago. There's been hundreds of different governments, but yet somehow, somehow they're all in on it, man. It's all a conspiracy. Hundreds of different countries that are all enemies at different times. All in on it, man. It's so fucking dumb. I mean... I don't need you to believe me, I'm just here to plant the seed That the grand global conspiracy is that the Earth's flat Forget decades of education, you don't need it You just need a flat Earth rap That's where I get all of my education from I love the idea of questioning everything, I'm all for it You should do that, You should. Al it's always healthy to question what you're taught But man, people just love crazy shit So as much as learning with laser beam is about laughing at stupid people People actually believe all this stuff, just remember that It's as scary as it is funny The best part of being at a conference like this is I can talk to somebody that will listen to you My mother, if I tried to talk to her about any of these things, it, she doesn't believe me Maybe that's because her mind is clouded about all her failures as a parent I want to believe the government. I, I want to believe what we've been told our whole life. There's nothing worse than being like, oh, the people that we pay taxes to are lying to us with our money. Why, why would that? Yeah, man. Think of all they have to gain about lying about the earth being round. They're lying. I ain't buying. So who's, who's they? Well, basically, uh, Satan. <laughs> 
Satan. Who's they? Well, basically, uh, Satan. I don't necessarily want to get into like naming. It's like, you know, is it the Illuminati or the Bilderbergs? The Jesuits, the Freemasons. Or the Trilateral Commission or the Vatican. The Zionist, NASA, of course. Lizard people. Lizard people is my, uh, is my guess. I believe it's the lizard people. Mark Zuckerberg is their leader. Why is everything a secret society? Because what you've been told can't be true. There's just, there's a secret society that runs everything. As far as I know, I'm the first guy in the whole world to make a working physical model of the Flat Earth. So I name this one Hidden Lands Beyond because some of us think that there's other lands that they're hiding from us. And that could be very well that they discovered these other lands and they just don't want us to know about it. Why? They told us about all the other lands they discovered like hundreds of years ago. Why would they not tell us about these lands? The penguins. <laughs> Debunk that argument that I just gave you. They told us about every single other bit of land that's ever been discovered, but they won't tell us about these. Huh? This is the beginning. This will be put in the history books. Today, mark that date. Because whether it's the next generation or the generation afterwards, they will remember this date. People are taking notice. Something is going on. Beep boop, beep boop. Hello, children. Open your history books to the date, November 28th, 2017. Ah, yes, here we go. Yo, like a hundred crazy people gathered in an embassy suites. They said the earth was flat. What a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> this is why every single YouTuber has done a video on the flat earth. And this is why I had to do it for learning with laser beam. All right, so there's a flat earth subreddit. <laughs> ah, yes, some, some genius has created an accurate depiction of the solar system. Here you can clearly see all the other planets there around. No one's disputing that. But the Earth, beautiful and flat. Uh, apparently this is how the flat Earthers think the dinosaurs died. See, if the Earth was round, this would be laser beam. Further back than any of us can remember, we are told we live on a globe. A spinning ball hurtling through space at more than a million miles an hour. Did you know that's just a story? Let's address the facts. Water always finds and maintains its level. Let's calm, let's calm down. Apparently this guy is on massive amounts of cocaine. R all real scientists are on massive amounts of cocaine. The world's lighthouses, railroads, and bridges all fail the curvature test. Why can we see much further than the curvature math dictates? Did you know that every experiment to prove the Earth is moving has failed? Every. You can say that, but then Elon Musk live streamed a, a car going to space, and you could see the whole thing, and then like it literally just showed like going from the ground until space, and then it showed the Earth was round. Like this entire subreddit is just dedicated to this crap. Why are they so scared of the Earth being round? Like why is this their big thing? I I'm honestly gonna have an aneurysm. I can't do this anymore. All right, one more thing. One legend, one pioneer, one man built his own rocket. He was so dedicated to the cause, an absolute hero. Here he goes. There he goes. True pioneer. We don't see what happens. A man named Mad Mike Hughes launched himself in a self-made rocket to help prove his belief that the Earth is flat. There he goes. He went 2,000 feet off the ground and ended in a hard landing. Okay, first, what an absolute legend. If you're gonna be crazy, go all the way. It was not his first attempt, apparently. Rome was not built in a day. It was actually never built. Rome never existed. It's a, it's a mole people conspiracy. He was apparently very injured as he landed. Well, that sucks. Nothing could kill him. I'm just waiting to see the, I'm just waiting to see the evidence. I bet he got undeniable proof. The earth is flat. What did he get? That's the end? He got nothing? Government took the footage. Government took the footage. The government took the footage. It's definitely not that he got up there, realized the earth was round, and then decided he wanted to delete the footage. It was definitely not that. How crazy do you have to be to die for the flat earth? Oh man, I'm having an aneurysm. I can't believe these people. You can literally watch the video from where Felix Bumgartner went 128,000 feet, and you can see the curvature of the earth. Like, how are people still disputing this? Elon Musk literally just launched his car into space. Like, they live-streamed the car in space. You could see the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> it's all fake. Everyone's in on it. I wanted to make a video where I taught you the Earth was flat because I thought it'd be funny, but my brain just hurts. My final notes. My final lesson to class. Core idea behind the flat Earth, I believe in. Question everything. Do your own research. But the Earth is goddamn round. Believe that because I told you it. And you can trust me. But uh, yeah, I hope. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed learning with laser beam. You were watching the learning channel. This this was just depressing.